motion and light, most paramount things in our world. Always thinking about that when I'm painting. My name is Zul Hock and um, I'm a painter. I was born in India, I came here quite young. Been painting for 35 years or more. Well, my mother bought me a sort of um, small set of colours when I was younger. I started sort of picking this stuff up, and playing and trying to copy things in books. And I really enjoyed doing it. It didn't matter what it looked like, but I just liked the act of doing it. So I discovered art that way. It wasn't planned. Uh, my mother didn't think, oh, he'll be an artist one day. She just bought me some colours. At school, I was given this prize of an art of a Spanish book on Francisco Goya. And it was amazing, my eyes were opened up and suddenly, this is amazing, and look into this guy. I really get into, and really start, start to connect with this ideal. Something sparked in me anyway, and then I start looking into more into Spanish art. I suddenly find myself playing guitar and God knows what else. <laughs> After school, I went to art school and I went on to into Spain, you know, sort of short trips. And I suddenly realized, you know, I, I felt at home here. There's something, something connected even more. There's something weird going on here. And that's the art, the music. And I couldn't explain it. So coming back, started painting about Spain, with Spanish issues. It's a huge contrast out there, but I mean, going further south, I felt more comfortable. And it was the aridness, the dried color, the bleaching effect of light, all those things, the culture, the people who live in those areas, it just sparks something off. And the Spanish light and it's bleaching. So whatever survives, it's got to be really strong. If there's, if there's an image in that light, it's got to be really hard, like black against white, the ball against the background. There's ochres and browns, ochre reds, almost a stereotypical Spanish Andalusian landscape. Painting, it's a visual memory, emotional memory that you have to fulfill. And when it appears on the canvas, it's like, wow, you, you can go home and sleep. <laughs> I do have tried other places, obviously, America, Greece, uh, Italy, France, Hong Kong, but um, always gravitate to what I really find myself drawn to, which is Spanish culture, really. I've got friends who say maybe you lived there before in a past life. I mean, I don't believe in all that, but maybe, I don't know. It's my spiritual home, I probably, maybe I wouldn't paint about Spain if I was in Spain. <laughs> maybe the distance is what's driving me. Maybe I want to go home. Home obviously isn't somewhere you sleep and uh, have a shower. Home for me really is the studio. Coming to the studio, I come to home. I don't go home, I come to home. That's the feeling I get in my soul, anyway. I'm happier here than anywhere else. There's a lot of people out there who think operating is how to get, it's a secret to all of art. There's no secrets in art. you just got to produce what you have to produce. Could be any subject, any style. Do whatever you like, just do it the best you can. I don't have time in the day to make connections, go out to every gallery, meet the right people. I'm not even interested in that. I speak through my paintings. I've been through the young stage where I need company and socialization and so on. But uh, right now I know what I want. I want to be alone and do my thing in isolation in the middle of nowhere. At the same time I need to do business as well. Because if you're doing business in art, you've got to be connected with the world as well. The outside world will always encroach on you anyway. You need to do with the bank the gas company, whatever. So somehow it will all invade you anyway. You will interact with society no matter what you do. And it's not a case of being naive and blocking the world out when you close the studio door. It's more about your personal space. Okay, I know there's a problem out there, but I need to do my painting. And when I've done that, I'll face the problems outside when I leave the door. I'm here alone every day, alone anyway. This is my normal. It's not a negative, it's a positive in my eyes. I actually like being in my studio in a solitary environment. I'm built for painting. <laughs> some of us are lucky and some of us aren't, and some of us take longer to find out what we want. 
I'm just lucky that I knew quite young-ish what I really am about, basically. It's the truth. So I'm just lucky. <laughs>